Order in the court. I was looking at and reading about this story last night. It is the most evil, upsetting thing, really, that I have read this year. I've really read, I have a mixture of feelings about this. First off, my condolences to Danielle Hoyle's family. My deepest condolences. This was sick. This was evil. This was premeditated, methodic. I could just go on and on. And I hope that things that I've read in comments aren't true. But before I start, I would just like to say that everything in this video is alleged and solely the opinions of me. Brandon Isabel, 25 years old, had said in a police report that he did lure away the mother of his two-day-old daughter. 48 hours. That's how old this baby was. 48 hours old. And her name was Kennedy. But he would lure his baby's mother's away from her home. She had went missing. Even the family had said that they didn't even know where she was at the time. Daniel Howell, who is 27 years old, would be found shot in the head. I read in some articles, but it did say shot to death. He had shot her. He also had took the baby. There was even, even an Amber Alert or a brief discussion of an Amber Alert, but he took his daughter who was two days old and he would toss this baby girl into the cold river. He did this. His daughter, he looked at his daughter and just threw her in there like, you know, a, a, a sack of trash that you're trying to get rid of real quick. And that's exactly what he did. He dumped her in the Mud Island Boat Ramp Island Park. That's what it says. And he also tossed the gun that he killed Danielle in it with. This baby was 48 hours. Before I even continue with the rest of the story, I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Two days old. There's no way that the baby's even out the hospital. But I keep forgetting. Times have changed. Yeah, when I had my kid, you had to actually be in the hospital for at least a week. Sometimes even longer because they had to make sure that the mother was okay health-wise and that more than definitely the, the baby was okay. They even made sure you had things to feed the baby with. Yeah, they did that back in the day. They, they sure did. I don't know what they do now, but two days and the, and the child's already out? Oh my God. But that you know what? That's besides the point. But the fact that that he did that, and then, you know, now this is not, what I just said is public information, but this here, somewhat public, because if you go on social media, everyone's talking about it. I'm not going to say her name, but they said this Brandon dude is married, and they're saying that um, she may have put him up to it. I hope not. I really hope she didn't, because if she did, what would be the point? Because she was feeling some type of way that he cheated on her yet again. But now there is um, an actual little person here to prove it. It's no point because now you will never see him outside of the prison walls. You'll never see him. He's never getting out. He's never getting out. He did a double murder. It looks like it was premeditated because he lured her away. He did a double murder. He's never getting out. And he had a little son that he seems to be so proud of that he posted on his Facebook page. He's never going to see him again outside of the prison walls. So if she was up to that, that was real stupid. Because now you're a father. Now, now your son doesn't have a father in the home anymore. I mean, God, and you know, I'm, I'm scared. Because when I hear a story like this, then not too far later, a week or two, a day or two sometimes, a month or two, we get a duplicate story somewhere else in another town. 
<laughs> That's not cool. If any young men are thinking or have a side chick that's pregnant, do what you do is walk away from it. Leave it alone. Deny, deny. If you have to take a blood test, oh, well, the worst thing you'll have to do is pay child support. That would be the worst thing. But it's better you being free and paying child support than in prison for the rest of your freaking life. And then the evil of that, tossing an infant into the cold water. Your daughter, because you you done had a whole entire person outside of your marriage. And if that woman, that young woman is who's married to him, if she did have anything to do with this, get over yourself. You've been cheated on. It happened with Brandon. It'll more than likely happen again. You know, you leave the dude and that's it. You find somebody that, that, that is worth your time and that wants to be with you. Murder is not an option. It's not. It's not. If anything, he should just should have took himself out the game. You know what I mean? Because in a sense, he kind of did. Because the way he knew his life, it's over with. And this is just the most sick, horrible crime. And I hope the wife wasn't a part of this because they keep, they just keep saying it. And I hope she wasn't. But this is horrible. This is so horrible. Justice for Danielle Howell and justice for Kennedy Howell that really didn't even know what was going on. I mean, it's crazy. That's crazy. I hope there's a hell. Yeah, and I hope he's definitely headed there. Shame on him. And I saw a picture of him with his his mother. I think he was graduating. I mean, this is your son. Look what your son did. Terrible. Rest in peace.